Oh, so we do have to uh, system semi fiber related stuff. So this is the, all the PBX stuff. Um, kind of cool. <laughs> the lines must be ordered by your local telephone company. Gee, you think? Um, oh, a cool cobbler um, for modems. And the Merlin had its own unique handset style, so you couldn't put a Merlin handset easily with the 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 cobblers in those days because they were designed for the 2500 phones or the 500 rotaries, and it's only just $35, which is not that bad. Um, some alert alarms when a call is coming in. Um, those look like they weren't made by at and Spirit, they're a very short-lived phone system. I would not recommend a Spirit. They were crap. Um, I don't know why they created the system because the partner came out two years after this publication. So I don't, again, understood what the methodology to the madness was with the Spirit. Oh, send the at and source book to the front. Oh, maybe I should send this in. <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's, that's bad of me. Um, so we're looking at the system, I think 25 sets, yep, kind of neat, uh, advanced administrative software, what's its requirement? <laughs> hmm. Oh, so this is the System 75. Awesome. This is cool. Um, there's 301 console for $2,094. And this, the selector console for $1,100. <laughs> yep. A uh, digital line for your DCP phones, $2,100. The central office card for $2,100. $2,100.50 $2,150 Wow and I think I have that one in the other room Wow And there really isn't that much difference either because the hybrid card for the Merlin phones for $2,150 16 port analog circuit card $4,300 Holy crap. So here's the system 75 cabinet and down here is where the process support network looks right next to the power supply. Really smart. <laughs> and ooh. Ouch. Um that's awesome. So, alright, so how much are these bad boys? Six bones, seventy four oh six, five hundred and fifty dollars. Uh the display three hundred what? How the hell can it Oh that's the one without display. My bad, three hundred and sixty. Uh seventy four oh one. It's basically one hundred and thirty five dollars. Um, that's a digital phone, that is. And, um... Oh, Horizon, they were still on the market. Oh, the price was reduced. The Horizon uses training video. Does anyone have that? I'd like to check that out. They had to refurbish stuff. Um, oh, the EKTS twenty six hundred. I've heard about this system. I've seen I've seen pictures of them. Um, that's interesting. Recognizing that small business and home telephone communication requires often merge, AT and T presents EKTS, a two line economical phone system. 
If you're tired of using push button phones or two two separate lines for with separate phones for each line, you will quickly discover AT and T's EKTS will save you time and money with intercom, auto dial, blah blah blah. Um. I don't know if I should compare this to the KSU list phones or what, but it's pretty sophisticated. But, yeah, that was on the market for a long time either. I think this is more of a consumer phone too, not the enterprise. Oh my god. The 1A2 key phone set. Wow, that's awesome. And then the com key. <laughs> And this is the single line set. So these were we, we normally see at the um, phone center stores back in the day. And then, oh, get careful here. Cordless phones in the time bleeding edge. This, the metal stands for the Merlin. Uh, the phones back in the day and Desi straps because I never have enough of those if you like to redo your sets buttons all the time um, and then there's a grid to tell you what phone system you have and what's supported um, and then they sold Plantronics headsets with its own little adapter amplifier. Hmm. If I had an AT&T long distance card, I could buy this stuff off and probably get a discount. <laughs> oh yeah, those old fashioned uh, Star Talk sets. And then paging. Because they tuned t didn't sell that um, internally. So, Peach Pack, who made that? I forget the, the company offhand. But they, you know, you basically put it on the analog trunk, then when you dial the analog trunk, you hear the page loudspeaker, and then when you hang up, you hear that the harsh click. That is basically it. Oh, these are the first fax machines. They look like printers. It's all typewriters. And you can sold regular typewriters, so speak of that well. And then tel um, telephone adapters. Do it yourself, it's a snap. Look that up on YouTube. Um, oh, wow, look at all these outlets. Information outlets, they call them. At least these were called outlets. <laughs> we recommend professional installation by a trained at t technician. Um, yeah, oh, this is, this is like a page turner. I have to read this all night. <sighs> Teleconferencing, yeah, that's going to work well. <laughs> um, terminals, actual dumb terminals. Um, uh, Unix workstations. I could go on and on and on. Well. Laser printer, did anyone use that? No. <laughs> Modems. Going back to the these books here. <coughs> um Damn. MS DOS. So these are for the people who like computers, not phones. Starland, that's a big deal. And then you could buy your own payphone. And I have to pay the phone company. So that is basically it.